I wasn't thinking about that. I just, I don't want anything to come in the way of court tomorrow. I just, I can't. I can't let anything happen. Like, from... So if anyone can help me out with five more dollars. Um, Kayla, I'm needing it to get to and from court tomorrow. I don't have a car. The bus no longer goes that way due to lack of drivers. Um, and it is driving. It's a half hour away. So... I mean, I'm just, I'm trying to, just trying to make it here. I know everyone else, I mean, it's hard to survive in this world now. When you don't have a car, it really sucks. Brandy said 20. Oh, hold on, let me check. Um, Brandy did not send me. And I don't give my money to anybody except for where I say it's going to, so please don't spread rumors. Good freaking Lord. And I don't say who donates because you'll get attacked later. So, I mean, somebody was going to help me pay my phone bill, and she took my information and then blocked me. So, that's why my phone bill still isn't paid. And it just sucks. I don't want anyone to feel like they're going to get attacked because they helped me. So that's why I don't say it. The level 15 gifter has nothing to do with this situation. Um, I sometimes re-gift the gifts that I get. Um, so I help somebody else out. I mean, I wasn't always in need. I used to come on here, I used to do the battles, I used to come on here and help people. I wasn't always in need, I wasn't always needing help. I just, I've hit, these past three months, I've hit a really bad bump in the road, really bad. And it sucks. And I wish I had a bigger pan. Because that's really full. Really full. get out the crock pot. Crap, crap, crap. But yeah, thank you everyone for being nice. I'm actually, I'm going to freeze some of it. I'm going to freeze some of the chili. I mean, like I said, I cook when I have anxiety and I've never made chili before. I had all that stuff for it, so yeah. Yeah, we'll set out. But yeah, I mean, no matter what court's for, I always have anxiety. It doesn't matter what it's for. Even when I was a landlord and I had to go to court, I still got anxiety. I just, I don't like, I don't like the legal system. <laughs> I mean, even for when I had to go into a police station the other day to make up that report, my anxiety was through the roof. So, doesn't matter what it's for, 
I avoid cops at all costs. I avoid everything. I hate the legal system. Thank you, Tamara. I live right out front of the police station, so yeah. It's not hard for me to get there. <laughs> not hard. I mean, I used to I used to have a lot of friends that were cops and everything, but I just don't like cops. I don't like cops, I don't like the judicial system. DHS is on my list of non likes right now. For some reason they have a hard time notifying me of anything that happens. So it's like I'm not a big fan. Oh my gosh, I hate dishes, I hate laundry. I mean, I've had my mess ups in the past, which all of you can see on here because people like to post my shit. But I learned from them and I've chosen to do better because I never want to have to go through it again. We all have our past, or most of us do, except for the people who are perfect. And, yeah. I don't know anybody who's perfect. For a taxi, haha. I don't know why that's funny, Kayla. Yeah, you know, I just, I've had, I've had some twisted experience with the legal system here. I mean, maybe Maine's legal system is different from wherever you guys are, but our legal system isn't always for what they say they are. Oh, my kitchen's so freaking small. I hate it. But it's a kitchen, right? Aw, oh, thank you, Sam. I appreciate that, I know. But you know what, kindness, I always say this, kindness is, there's no price on kindness. Um, what do you mean, what blanket on the floor? That's actually a draft rug, if that's what you're referring to, darling, because the doors have gaps and it prevents drafts from coming in. So mind your P's and Q's, darling. Okay, Brenda, I will, thank you. Um, and to just really quick before I go, um, I don't usually see the videos because most of the people have me blocked from seeing them. So, but I really don't care. If they're going to block me from seeing them, then they're not worth watching. So I don't. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that so much. Um, Kayla, I'm not on here every day, so... Yeah, I have enough now. Thank you. I mean, I'm not even going to entertain it. If you guys want to waste your time watching videos that people take 
bits and pieces of my stuff and put it in with a bunch of sarcastic shit and go for it. But if there's anything somebody wants to know, I would hope that you'd come to me as an adult and not just sit there and cackle away in the comment section. Nothing more that I hate than people that can't be adults on an adult social media site. So, if you have a question, ask me. If you have a question and you choose not to ask me, then keep thinking other people are right. I don't care. I mean, nobody's perfect. Yes, I have a past. Yes, I have a very small, actually, police record. But people do not know. Like, all they can post is the um, police log from the newspapers from back then. And I don't have cancer. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, yeah, all they're posting is, like, the police log from the police, um, the newspapers from back then. That isn't what actually happened in court, okay? But you can't get a ride through that. And Joe, we don't do body shaming in here, so kindly remove yourself. Talk about adults. Oh, Kayla, okay, sorry. No, I have needed some help. Yeah, my babies are perfect. No, I'm in remission. I do not have cancer. No, I was never on TV. Pe no, he's saying that because he's making fun of me. Because I'm fat. You know what? Considering how much weight I lost during chemotherapy, I am proud of every pound that I have on me now. So. I'm telling you, people are just mean. Court is to get eviction dismissed. Oh, people are so mean. Oh, yeah, some people are very hateful. But you know what? You take them with a grain of salt because you know what? You never know what they're going through. Because probably if they're being so hateful to a stranger, they're probably going through a lot in their life. And I just tell myself that every time somebody says something hateful, I just tell myself they're going through something worse. Maybe they just need a hug. I don't know. I don't entertain it. There's no point of entertaining the hate. I mean, you should see some of the messages I get. Now that's hate. They just need a hug. Um, I needed it. Thank you. I needed it for a taxi to get to him from court tomorrow morning. Absolutely. Hugs are free and they're they do amazing things. They're better than counseling, honestly. Or therapy. And that's what I'll reply with whenever people send me hate messages. I'll be like, here, I'll send you a hug. And they always get mad about that. Oh, Lord. Liquid. You know when you're down and out when you don't have any dish water to lift them up. But yeah, so this is the chili. I just it's gonna simmer in here for about an hour or so. Got it on high. So that should look good. Um, because I was behind on my rent. And now I'm just having to deal with some extra stuff. But you know what? 
You don't put noodles in chili, do you? I'm on um, income-based housing. It's not Section 8. Okay. I didn't think so. I mean, I've never made it before, so, yeah. Cornbread. Oh, my gosh, I forgot cornbread. Dang it. Oh, Sugarfoot. Yeah, I got saltines. Um, how often do you have to travel? I actually don't travel for my uh, MAP program. Um, I go through a doctor who's telehealth only, so I don't have to, no. I do not have to travel for my appointments. I know, I live in Maine. I don't have a roommate. Oh, I should go. Dang it. Matt is a prescription, um, and they just, they call it into my pharmacy every week. No, I'm not in Canada. Really, I'm in southern Maine. I'm like right on the um, border of New Hampshire. Virginia, I love Virginia. It's beautiful there. It really is. Peanut, we... When I was a kid, we got a lot of snowstorms, but we don't have snowstorms anymore. It's like last year, it's, I've lived in Maine all my life. I left for two years. I lived in Kentucky for two years and then I came back. Um, because I transferred my, um, I transferred my lease. I didn't get a new lease. No, Amanda Baldwin, I'm not in MAP because of my cancer. I am in MAP because back in, from 2009 until 2015, I was an opiate user. Um, I was in a pain clinic and it got out of control. Got into a car accident and the last day I used an opiate was September 22nd, 2015. Um, we in uh, Florence area Florence between Florence and Cincinnati oh sugarfoot I forgot the sour cream too dang it yes I am I've been on since 2015 eight years now I haven't touched anything in eight years I have shredded cheese. <laughs> Thank you, Earth Haven. Congratulations for the two years. That's awesome. That's awesome. I mean, one day is something to celebrate about, for real. I was out of control back then, and I lost a lot, but I'm still trying to regain everything. Congratulations. That's really awesome, Renan. Congratulations, Pickle. Thank you, Shannon. Yeah, um, SSI and SSDI get... Um, raises every year in the beginning of the year. Sober life is, it's great. I actually had my doctor tell me I'm a very boring patient because I haven't had any mishaps. And I have no, you know, dirty urines or anything. But you know what, I'd rather be boring than have my uh, head handed to me on a plate. <laughs> But thank you guys for sitting here and talking to me. Kayla, congratulations. Amen. Amen. I mean, I was, like I said, I was in the pain clinic and I was being prescribed um, four, no, three um, 
oxy 30s a day and I was by 2015 when I got sober um, I was up to eight a day so yeah no I'm not court ordered no way I did that on my own it's just when you're on Suboxone I don't know if anybody else feels it but um once you're on it, I mean, I've been on it for eight years now, and yeah, I got the 40, um, eight years, and my mind just isn't ready for the tear down yet. I've started to tear down, like, a little bit, but yeah. No, I actually have, I'm blessed with my rent, for real. That's why if I were to get evicted from this place, it would be foolish of me, like, to even let that happen. Yeah, I mean, it is it is a slow process, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, they're giving up to three strips a day now for people, so I will. I'll definitely let you guys know how court goes. I mean, I'll come on tomorrow night, um, but like I said, I, I don't know. I'm not ready to completely jump off it yet. <laughs> Yeah, Misty, and a lot of places are like that. They'll only do two, but um, the place that I'm in now, they'll do up to three, which is shocking to me. I could never do three. I mean, I'm comfortable at where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. Um, in the beginning of the year, I just have a copay of like $2 for mine a week. But once I pay my deductible down, I don't. Three a day. See, that's a lot, but I mean, if that's what you need, that's what you need, so. Resources are very limited in Maine. I mean, oh, really? That's really good, Les. Good job. But, um, yeah, resources are very hard here in Maine. There's not a lot of them. And then, like, the churches, I know in other places you can just kind of walk into a church and you can get help usually. Here you don't. Our churches aren't open like that. You have to call them up fill out an application for Benev Benevolence Fund and then wait for them to call you back. And then this time of the year, they're not helping with a lot of stuff because they're focusing on like Christmas for the kiddos and whatnot. So, and then we have one food pantry here and it's open Monday. Um, it's open Monday and Fridays. So yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna miss the food pantry, but exactly Jay Stables we have nothing here it's crazy and then if you don't have a car you're screwed Bridget what do you think I'm wrong about yeah it's just when I went to Kentucky it was just a culture shock like it's so different down there, you know? I mean, we watch grass grow up here. Down there, they watch prostitutes and drug deals, you know? It's just, I wasn't comfortable there. Yes, it's always better the next day. That's what I say. Hi, Kay, how are you? Yes, I'm from Maine. I was only out of Maine for two years. And I came back, and I'm staying. I don't wanna be anywhere else but here. Yeah, I mean, if you're raised there, it's probably great, but, yeah. Yeah, Kayla, I think it was more so, like, the Cincinnati area. We When I went down there, literally, COVID started a week after I got there. So everything, like, it was different. In Bama, Alabama. And then whenever I talk down there, people be like, oh, you have an accent. I'm like, no, you have an accent. Actually, I used to have my treatment down in Framingham, Mass, which is not too far from Boston, I think. Yeah, with a sub thing, I mean, I don't know personally. Hi, Sloth, how are you? I don't know personally about the rest of y'all's doctors, but my doctor is, like, if you want to try, like, your own thing, they'll let you, as long as you're being honest, you know? and. 
if you want to take like a half a day and just try it out, they'll let you. So you can try it on your own before you go and tell them, you know, that you're cutting down. I mean, a lot of it's psychological. A lot of it is psychological. My rent's four fifty. I know. You never know what the next person's going through. Uh, we're talking about tapering off from um, Suboxone. I don't take anything for pain. I basically rely on Advil and whatever Suboxone helps me with for pain. But, I mean, honestly, I know there's a lot of hate on the whole Suboxone program and whatnot, but it saved my life. I wouldn't be where I am right now. And I've come far. For everyone who knew me back then would verify I've come far since then. Yeah. Absolutely. Amen. I mean, if it wasn't for this box, so. Hey, Terry, how are you? Rent can be very expensive. And I'm, I'm grateful for what I have, you know? I'm doing okay, Jamie. How are you? Yes, I did. I got what I needed. Thank you. But I'm going to get off here. My phone's going to die soon. And the Wi-Fi keeps doing this really weird glitchy thing. But thank you guys for keeping me company. And I'm so blessed. Thank you guys so much. And I'm going to let you guys know after court. I might actually jump on before court while I'm waiting. But um, I appreciate you guys and all your kindness. God bless you all. I appreciate you. I really do. Oh, got to get that last question in there, huh? <laughs> yes, I'll be on tomorrow, Lauren. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all. I love all the kind people, by the way. <laughs> Good night, guys.